Hi everyone, this is Joseph. Welcome to my channel. Today and for the next few episodes, we will be talking about China Mirage. This is a book by James Bradley to tell us what we know about Sino-US relationship is false. The former VP under Trump administration said US was friendly to China. This is absolutely bullshit. The opium war was started by the British and they ought to take the blame, but in the midst of the whole fiasco, there were a bunch of Americans who profited handsomely from the opium trade, but their involvement was whitewashed away. Among them were Warren Delano, the ancestors of two very successful U.S. presidents, Teddy Roosevelt and FDR. Warren Delano worked for Samuel Russell, who owned the Russell and Company that, on top of many traded items, sold opium to China. Other Americans who became rich were John Perkins Cushing, also a Russell and Company partner, Robert Bennett Phelps, the Peabody's, and the Lowe's. The first opium war was a boom time for Delano. English traders were forced to observe the British blockade of China, yet valuable cargoes from other sources continued to arrive. Responding to an encouraging demand, Delano rented or purchase every ship he could then charge high transport fees. Delano's accomplishments were recognized in the midst of the war when on January the 1st, 1840, a 31 year old was named the senior partner of Russell and Company. On July the 3rd, 1844, an American trader, Caleb Cushing, signed a US agreement modeled on Nanking Treaty the Treaty of Wangxia that allowed five new China's districts where extraterritoriality established Americans would rule supreme. They could buy land and erect homes and businesses in these protected pockets without Chinese interference. Much of East Coast universities were built on opium money. Yale University was provided by Russell family. Columbia University's Lowe Memorial Library honors Abel Abbott Lowe. John Cleve Green was Princeton University's single largest donor. Opium money also financed railways like Boston and Lowell, the Michigan Central, the Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy, and the Chesapeake and Ohio.